Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. You know, I'm actually at home. I've been quiet the last couple of hours because I just don't know what to say anymore. You know, I feel like we really are the drama the evening time drama that was Dallas. I can only equate us to being like that because we've got just like, it's like a soap opera here. And it really strikes me at home that I realize the real problem with the Dallas Cowboys is we don't know what the hell we don't know. And that is Stephen Jones. Uh, I'm, you know, uh, it's, it's actually crazy to think about it because See, it, what, what we're relying on here is a shade tree mechanic. No, 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 no. That's not even right. Shade tree mechanic can at least get the car started sometimes. What we're relying on here is somebody who thinks that they know everything but really know nothing about building a football team. They actually have people around them that understand building football team and, and doing football things, but don't rely on them. See, that's the problem because Stephen Jones, when he says that, you know, <sighs> linebacker Jabril Cox, you know, and, and I think Jabril Cox is going to be good. Fourth-round draft pick, Jabril Cox. When Stephen Jones says he is doing really well after his ACL tear on October 31st, I think he's coming along great and should be a big plus for us this year. We'll fill in right where Keanu O'Neill left off. I think he has great cover skills. The fact that they look at their linebacker room right now and they say, we're good. We're good. Well, you know, Bobby Wagner, you know, we, 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 we tried, but, you know, we, we, in the end, we, we just missed out. But wait a minute. He's not signed with anybody. And I will tell you that literally we're going to be sick when we find out that Bobby Wagner signs a deal for like $8 million or something. Wouldn't that literally make your blood Boyle, if it ends up being that the Baltimore Ravens, you know, or the Rams get him and it's like an eight, nine million dollar a year deal, because this is where you, you realize that you are actually having an advantage for once in negotiating because you have Bobby Wagner, who is his own agent. He's never had to negotiate with a new team. He doesn't know what to do. He can't play one team against another because he has, you know, uh, all these agents that are saying, well, you know, we're looking at this one. We're looking. He doesn't have it. This is the advantage on you. And the fact that you look at your linebacker room and that you say literally, or at least try and tell us that, you know, we're good with Jabril Cox coming in off an ACL tear. The fact that our season is coming down to guys with ACL tears. You are the same guys. Now, now here, here's where you got to say, wait a minute. So you mean to tell me that the guys that drafted Bobby Carpenter and thought, Bobby Carpenter, that's the first-round draft pick right there. That's a linebacker for us. You're going to tell me that the same guys that drafted Vander Esch with neck issues. You're going to tell me the same guys that drafted Jalen Smith, who most people thought would never be able to play again, after one good year decided to pay him an exorbitant, exorbitant contract, which basically the contract, it may end up being that you were actually paying Jalen Smith you may be able to actually pay for Bobby Wagner. So we're supposed to believe that the guys that say Bobby Carpenter, that's good for linebacker, that Jalen Smith, that Van Der Esch, oh, damn. 
Oh, the more I think about this, it drives me crazy. The same guys that said, you know what? Anthony Hitchens, nah, he's too expensive. Let's let him go. Let's let, let's let Anthony Hitchens go. Yeah, we're, we're better off. We're better off without Anthony Hitchens. He, he's going to be too much money. So we're now supposed to say those same guys are the ones that realize, yeah, we're good at linebacker. What? So let me see if I have this straight. These same guys that, that, that come across as we're the geniuses in the room, the geniuses in the room that tell, you know, well, no, we tried on, you know, we, we tried, we, we, we tried, you know, it just didn't work out, you know, wait a minute, he, he's still a free agent. You, you, you don't even realize that he hasn't signed with somebody yet, right? You, you, you don't even realize that he is not under contract with anybody yet. And, and you don't even realize that people are low-balling him and you're not even trying to be in the mix? Okay, okay. Be that as it may, they tried to sell us. They tried to sell us that getting Michael Gallup signed because he'll be ready for training camp is a priority. We we got to get Michael Gallup. We we, we got to get Michael Gallup in. We got to get him signed. He should be ready for week one. You know, the Cowboys, for some reason, always seem to have this thing with people that they're going to be ready a lot quicker than what's normal. That we have supermen when it comes to players and their health. Navelle Gallimore. Yeah, man, that's a three, four week thing. Hyperextended elbow. Tristan Hill will be ready for training camp. And we sign guys that are always injured. What what is this affection that we have? You know, are we like, you know, the United States, give us your tired, your poor, your tore ACLs? We got you covered. If you stay healthy and on the field, we don't want anything to do with you. Hooker, ruptured Achilles. We got to sign him. We have to sign him. And this is where you realize, okay, I'm not saying people don't come back from, from knee injuries. I'm not saying that. But you have to bake into the equation the timetable it takes, okay? Jabril Cox, you know, he, he may be ready. He may be. But eight months to a year. Normal recovery, eight months to a year. Michael Gallup, surgery in February, eight months to a year. If you hope for the best and plan for the worst, you will never be disappointed. But the fact that the Cowboys believe that, hey, we didn't sign Randy Gregory, but we got three top players because of it. Dorrance Armstrong. He's a good player. Van Der Esch had a really good rookie year. Dante Fowler, he, he was a first-round draft pick. But when you say top players, you mean top players on your team? Or you mean top players in the NFL? Because that's the way you, you go across selling this. Because what happens is now, some people will listen to you guys and say, oh, well, the Cowboys, they know what they're doing. No, you're making shit up as you go along to try and sound like you know what you're doing. But the reality is you don't. If you have the opportunity to get, as you call, one of the top players in the NFL, I understand that you don't want to overpay for somebody. But I don't get this one with Bobby Wagner that you think that having Van Der Esch Luke Gifford and a guy with a tour ACL is better than having Bobby Wagner. And this is where you have guys who don't understand that you must stop the run, which is why they never believe in a one technique guy, the big nasties. 
we are relying on guys who don't know how to build football teams, to build a football team. And I'm going to go on record and say that if the Dallas Cowboys do not win a Super Bowl before Jerry Jones goes, and if the team passes on to Stephen Jones, the Cowboys will never win a Super Bowl with Stephen Jones in charge. Just won't. His whole mentality of risk aversion and believing that you can build a Super Bowl winning team on the Chiefs with guys that are injured and then wonder why the players don't perform like pro bowlers. I am so flustered with the Dallas Cowboys right now that I, I just don't I just don't know what to even think anymore. But I guess it is what it is. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. And I will catch you all later on. And just hope and pray that somehow some way we can get this thing right and end up having a decent season.